So this is our ambulance. Um, it is stock for ALS. We run a ALS ambulance here, two paramedics at all times. Um, this is our first end bag and our oxygen bag and our monitor. These are our main tools. This is what we bring in on every call. Um, depending on the calls, traumas, we'll bring in other equipment as well with us. Um, this is a very nice ambulance. There's enough headroom. Most ambulances can't stand in. It's very nice. Um, we have our airway stuff up here. We have some of our pediatric, so children airport uh, airway equipment up here. Some trauma, some splinting. Um, extra monitor supplies. We have two different IV kits, so depending on which side you're on or who's going for what, doing what, um, you get your IV stuff readily available. And it's I really like their setup here. It's very nice, uh, easy to access. So we have more restocking supplies for IVs and some needles for medication, some fluids, extra fluids. Uh, these are just linens. Over here is more of our splinting. Um, this is an indoor-outdoor cabinet. So depending on if we need to grab it outside while we're grabbing the longboard or anything like that, if we need to extricate someone from a house. Um, just has spinal immobilization stuff in there. Uh, some more trauma stuff, some fluids, some ice packs. And then uh, a really nice touch that town did. It's, it's great for if you ever have any kids, they just have little things like the helmets and the stickers. It really can help calm them down because it can be really scary for kids when they're hurt or injured or feeling sick. Uh, more bags in here. We have some more equipment. Um, How many people usually ride? So ambulance? there's usually two of us in the ambulance, okay. but most medical calls will send the ambulance and the engine. So we'll have plenty of hands there. Um, if everyone's busy in the engine. So we can always uh, run this just with the two paramedics, but there's always two paramedics on there right now. Uh, right now, getting started out, um, all the new people, they have, uh, it's called third riding, just to see how we work and with the new ambulance and new space, just make sure there's an extra set of hands there, but um, we're do be doing that for a couple weeks and then we're setting this free. So.